Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am currently eating. I was gonna try to pronounce this word, but it wasn't gonna work out, so I gave up. <laughs> I am really excited for this video because I have kind of been like preparing for a minute and you guys probably have seen it on my Snapchat, but I, how do I say this? You guys have probably seen that I always am wearing my Methodist cross necklace. Oh, here it is. I'm always wearing this cross necklace. When I deployed to Afghanistan, one of my biggest goals was to read the Bible cover to cover, which I ended up joining a Bible study group while I was over there, and we did that. And I went through my whole Bible, obviously already had writing in it and stuff. My Bible I've had since I went through through confirmation and like became a member of my church so probably since I was like eight I don't even know how people get recommended to you on Instagram or anything nowadays but basically I was on Instagram and oh I follow godly dating on Instagram and like that page just helps me so much to clear my mind especially when I'm like going through going through it and I don't know there's just a lot of inspiration on there and I think that's why this girl showed up on my page like my explore page and basically her Instagram thing is Bibles and coffee I love her Instagram like I'm obsessed I turned on notifications for this girl she's just awesome and I can't wait to order one of her Bibles but like I couldn't order it last time I, I was so excited and then I had drill weekend for the military and I couldn't be on my phone to order the Bible. So until then, I was like, whatever, your girl bought it because I had to. And I really just want like this to be just as much a part of my channel as like my home stuff that I'm going to be putting on here, my fitness stuff, because like my walk with the Lord is just as much a part of me as any of that other stuff, if not more important to me than any of that other stuff because I wouldn't, I wouldn't be the person that I am without the Lord. So I definitely think that I want to bring this to my channel and it also kind of holds me accountable to like continue my Bible studying and it holds me accountable to upload for you guys and it just gives us a time to like chit chat and relax. And I think I'm gonna do it on Sundays because it's only right. I like that this Bible, like, it comes in this cute little box that I'm never gonna throw away because it's pink. And I love it, it's like a peachy pink. The Bible's called the Jesus Bible, obviously. And it actually matches up with um, the app, The Holy Bible, which I already use on my iPad and my iPhone and my Amazon Echo. The Bible's in here. And it has a cute little cross on it. And then on the side, it literally says the Jesus Bible. The book is actually like pleather, like a fake leather. Like y'all didn't know what pleather was. On the sides of the pages, it's pretty gold. My biggest thing, oh, I bent a page. No. Anyways, my biggest thing for this is like, even look at the inside, like, it's so cute! It explains everything that you're reading, like on the sides it explains it in, it just really dumbs it down for you, so that way if you read something that you don't understand, you get full knowledge and a grasp of like what it means and it really makes you feel so much better about your reading for the day. So my obsession with Bibles and Coffee on Instagram is their way of Bible studying. Like I've always been a highlighter and an underliner and I never really like went out of my comfort zone or anything. So I've decided that I want to start Bible journaling, which is something that I would literally do on my channel on Sundays. Not every Sunday, but if I do a journal that I think is really cool, obviously I want to show you guys. Like, this is as creative as I've gotten. <sighs> I never go to Michael's. With this Bible journaling, I'm not going to go to Michael's for everything because I knew that I could get Christian 
stickers and stamps and stuff like that. And not that there's anything wrong with Michaels, I just figured it was smarter. So altogether my purchase at Hobby Lobby was $112. But I feel like it's really worth it because I'm going to be using all this stuff and not only that, Hobby Lobby also every single week has 40% off coupon. I ended up getting these clear stamps. Wait, are these stamps? <gasps> they are. I ended up getting these clear stamps. Um, this one, it says like faith heals my, it says faith heals my hour, miracles, believe, trust, love, um, like I don't know, I just thought that those were really good words. And with, I know I have other clear stamps. I also got these clear stamps. These stamps were kind of like on the cost, costlier side. So I didn't get many of them, but I did get this little block thing. It's actually a clear stamp mounting block. You have to have, I mean, you probably don't have to, but it's gonna make it look a lot nicer to use that. And it was $4.99 and the other stamps, were $9.99. Stamps are expensive. They obviously had other stamps that weren't clear, but I watched this girl on YouTube and she used the clear ones and there's just really cool things that you can do with them. I believe this is the last thing of stamps that I got, but I got um, the whole alphabet in wood stamps, but I bought these cute little paperclip bookmarks and they're just little tab things that you can write on. Basically, they're stickers. And they have a whole entire studio collection called Petals and Blooms. And these were the cheapest item that they had. It was $4.99, but I highly recommend checking them out, especially if you have like a planner channel and, or like if you do planning, just these little flags. And on the back, it kind of showed me how like you could use them for scrapbooking, but I thought that they would still be cute in my Bible. Some neon colored pencils, which I just thought neon was very different. Just YouTube watercolor pencils. That's all you need to know. It's awesome. What these can do is awesome. And I will show you if I end up being good at it. But I think that my Bible's gonna turn out live. And I already have pens and pencils and stuff, but as I go through this process and like find other things that I wanna use, I'm obviously gonna do reviews and show you guys what I do, but I just think that doing this on Sunday is just, I don't know, I'll be able to let you guys see what I do for my Bible study, and I'm always looking for new ideas. Um, I've been kind of doing the same thing for a really long time, so I'm just excited for this. I'm excited to spend the time connecting with God and not only that, but being able to just have fun with it. And I feel like that's something that's just gonna be really beneficial for me. It just really is. It makes me excited to think about it. So I will make sure to bring you guys with me throughout this journey. And thank you so much for watching. If you have questions or anything, leave them in the comments bar. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and I love you.